what about all those jobs that might be created to build the AI itself? For that, we turn to Kate Rogers. Hi, Kate. Hey, Kelly. So good to see you. Well, you just said it. Will AI take or enhance your job? The University of Florida is hoping for the latter for its students. The school has a public-private partnership with NVIDIA as its co-founder, Chris Malikowski, is an alum and has an AI-centric data center featuring a supercomputer as the school looks to be a national leader in AI. It's training its students regardless of major in artificial intelligence. They've got 230 courses in AI across 16 colleges and had 7,500 students in enrolled in them last spring. When you think about uh, in a work environment, around the table at some, at some business, people are trying to solve a problem. Not everybody around the table is going to be a computer programmer anyway. You want the marketing person around the table to understand AI. You want the, the communications team to understand artificial intelligence. You want all of the members of that, of that group trying to solve a problem to understand the fundamentals of how AI is being applied to that to that particular problem. Dr. Reed said the school is also letting recruiters know it's going to have a student workforce that looks very different in the next three to five years because of this training and hopes its students will have an edge in the new tech economy due to this program. So it's not just the data scientists and people who are majoring in software or STEM. It's teaching everyone how to do this, which is really unique. That is wild. Did you say zoology was literally <laughs> one of the areas? He mentioned from zoology to the arts. That's the, the broad scope of what we're doing here. And even like music majors, for example, he said we're teaching them very basic programming skills so that they have an understanding of AI. So it's not just building the AI tech pipeline, but he's saying, you know, when you're in a role in corporate America, everyone sitting around the table should have somewhat of an understanding of how this works. And that will give you, you know, the cutting edge and hopefully not take your job away, but make you, you know, a leader in the room. It's super cool. And kind of a side note of the benefit of those little additive tools can have in college. I was a print major, but I, I did. I just did a teeny bit with video. And then all of a sudden, a few years later, at the Wall Street Journal, and they say, does anyone around here know how to do video, I'm like, yeah, I know a little, a little bit, you bit. Know? and well, look here we know. are, yeah. right? So the, just the, this exposure, this familiar, just giving people just enough confidence with that language could be a huge career boost. Totally, and another uh, job that he brought up that I think is important too, paralegals. He's like, everyone talks about paralegals going away because of AI, but right. what if you're a paralegal that understands how to use AI to be even better at your job? Wouldn't you be the one to hang on to it versus someone who has no understanding Absolutely. and hasn't trained in it? So. No, and it reminds you almost of, of medicine where the kind of the, the physician's assistants have become as crucial as the doctors themselves, and it could actually kind of upend the balance and of power. with workforce shortages, right? Exactly. Having this additional skill set really sets you apart too. It's so. true. We can't say enough about it. We Kate, can't. thank you. Thank Kate you. Rogers, appreciate it. Great to have you here as Great well, by see. the way.